Hi, I'm Hany Mora. Welcome to EasyTechTips.com. Today's tutorial, we're going to learn how to stay organized with Gmail. So the first step is to go to gmail.com and log in with your username and password. The first nice feature Google offers is what they call conversations. So if you click on a particular email, all emails related to the same subject are stacked nicely on top of each other and color coded. This allows you to expand and collapse each email and it helps you keep track of any conversations you've had with friends and family. Another powerful feature is Google's search engine. By typing in any word, it will instantly find it, whether it's in the email address, subject, or anywhere in the email itself. Keeping track of emails can be tricky sometimes. Gmail offers a starring feature, which lets you star an email, also lets you view all your starred emails. This comes in handy when you have a lot of emails that you know you need to respond to, but you don't have time to respond right away. This ensures that none of your emails get missed. Google also lets you chat with friends instantly. On the bottom left, when someone's trying to get a hold of you, the person's name flashes orange. And then if you look on the bottom right, you see the conversation appears right away. This lets you talk to your friends just like any instant messenger. So instead of emailing somebody, if you see them online, you can simply text them a message and they will receive it right away. Also, you get the option to pop out this window, which means it'll just open it into a separate window. And you have the, also the option to pop it back in, which will nicely dock it on the bottom right of your screen. Another nice way to keep all your emails organized is to use filters. So a filter takes in a specific criteria. For example, I want all emails from hany at easytechtips.com to have a certain action applied to them. So you have a few options here. I can skip the inbox, mark as read, automatically star it. But in my example, I want a label automatically applied. A label is just a little tag, a little identifier that shows up next to an email. So I'm going to create a label called Handy Mora and when I create my filter, as soon as an email arrives from Handy Mora, we will notice right away that uh, a tag appears right next to the email. And just like stars, we can sort and view only the emails that have labels Handy Mora. The last thing we're going to talk about today is how to use Gmail to send and receive emails from multiple accounts. So under the settings window, if you click on accounts, it shows you the option to add another email address. So I'm going to add my easy tech tips at yahoo.ca. Click next. It's going to ask me to send a verification email. I say send. I can now close this window and switch over to my Yahoo and wait for the email to come. Once the email arrives, I click on the email. There's a link below. If I click on the confirmation link, it'll show me that it's been successful. So now, when I go back to my Gmail, I have two options have my Gmail and my Yahoo. So another setting you want to set is to always reply from the same address the message was sent to. This way the person who sent you an email gets a response back from the same email address. So now when I go to compose an email I have two options. I can pick my Gmail or my Yahoo. To receive emails all you need to do is set up my Yahoo to forward all my emails to Gmail. Thanks for joining us today. We hope you enjoyed this tutorial on how to stay organized with Gmail. For more easy step-by-step -step internet tutorials, please visit us at www.easytechtips.com.